just kind of like a self reminder here um, regarding a few things. Um, HDR, I didn't really manage to mix the HDR with with um, with light wave lighting and still get the bumps to look nice. I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. It just doesn't work for some reason. Um, It really depends on how you how you do this, how you light this and stuff. Let's see. Uh, if I well, let's just turn off these guys. And this is the original. Looks like that. And it has no bump. It has no bump. It looks like that. You can't really tell all that much how this bump is working, but it's basically just mixing two turbulence procedurals over uh, this already displaced terrain, so you can, but if I pump that up too high, let's say 300, it just starts to look funky, you know, so be careful doing that. 125 is actually slightly too high, but Let's just keep it like that. Um, I could use uh, an image map or a gradient, uh, or I mean um, a weight map to remove some of the bump in certain areas, but didn't do that in this case. Um, as far as the lighting goes, uh, I tried to use a dome light, but it just didn't look good. Uh, whatever I used didn't look good. Also scan, uh, Sky Sun didn't do the job. Um, not in this case. So I ended up actually using spherical and was a bit surprised by that but uh, okay. Um, and just to smooth things out, instead of having this set to 5 millimeters or so, which creates this very harsh shadow, uh, I'm actually having a very soft shadow. Adds a bit of render time, but it's not that bad. Uh, I fix that by, I fix the noise here by pumping up the samples. Uh, if you use motion blur with motion blur passes three, then you could probably use five here instead, but that's a different story. So, um, yeah, what else? Not too much else, I guess, to mention. Uh, but yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't make, uh, that I couldn't make. HDR work with bump maps in a nice way. I don't know if that's a common problem. I don't know. Not for this scene at least. Um, this scene was a bit, well, original though, so. Um, yeah, you can, you can make a fall off here. Um, with a clamp distance and stuff, but I couldn't really get the result that I wanted. Uh, I have to pump up the light intensity and stuff to, to get this to work nicely. So what I should have done, I should have just placed a polygon close to the light and then make this area darker, or I just in this case I just chose to cheat and uh, while well, these are just colors coloring the, the ground um, but this one is a gradient distance to pivot point and it's basically just darkening this background area so if I activate this one 
it looks like that. So, uh, yeah. But that's, you know, that's a cheat. Uh, so, it should, I mean, since I added this to the terrain now, if I add trees, this is not going to affect the trees. So, but just, I just wanted to show you really how it could look if you mask this area. So, you shouldn't do it in this way, but, but just wanted to show that. So, not sure. Anyone got great results with uh, HDR and bump maps? I mean, I know I can mix HDR and regular lighting and mix and then use bump maps, but I just can't get good results. Not for a scene like this anyway, so. But okay, um, getting closer to something all right. This is not a finished scene, this is just me testing. 